five or six months now, but I thought I'd make a video to give a little bit of a life update on what has been going on and hopefully what my plans are for the new year. Speaking of which, Happy New Year! 2020 is finally over. The year that would never end. Um, anyway, just wanted to give a little bit of a update on what's been happening and why I haven't been on for five or six months now. Um, originally when I started I was planning on kind of doing, you know, just vlogs of ending my time in Japan and then shifting into student life, my master's degree, because that was really my main goal for doing videos is show the process of my master's degree in conservation, but due to the pandemic um, I ended up extending my contract one more year, um, staying in Japan for a fifth year, and putting off my master's program for one more year. Um, I didn't think it would be too difficult to kind of get back into my blog and potentially doing some more videos, but part of my contract extension was a little bit of a change in my work schedule. I added on another school in a different city, so now I have a commute three days a week, or a longer commute, um, and I didn't really adjust as fast as I thought I would. After four years, I have kind of a bank of lessons that I thought I could just recycle, and this new school is a different level than the school I'm used to going to. Um, just like as an example, um, my main school is kind of, I don't know if upper academic is the right way to say it, but like above average. And the main lessons I usually end up teaching are how to write an essay and how to have a discussion is like the kind of lessons that I just repeat over and over again. Um, my newer school is a technical school, so it's lower level English, it's more just kind of give them some exposure and some basic practice. And even though I only had three individual classes and the class sizes were all very small, um, one class is seven, one is nine students, and my smallest class is only two students. So things didn't quite translate as well. Um, instead of being able to just repeat a lot of the lessons, I still ended up having to make new lessons, which kind of ate up a lot of my time and energy. Um, I had a hard time making lessons that my larger third year class would really pay attention to. <laughs> um, there were two boys in particular that were very uninterested in doing any sort of work that wasn't just a game and I'm not particularly good at games, so turning lessons into a game was hard and I didn't want to resort to let's just watch a movie and, and answer basic questions. So that kind of ate up a lot of my time and it didn't help that my computer at that school was like really bad, like me having to shut down and restart it nearly every day because it would just freeze on me bad. And what that led to was coming home after school to finish the lessons because there were things that I couldn't do on the school computer that I'd have to come home and do. So downloading video clips to put into my PowerPoints or just just like to get to make the PowerPoint quickly. Uh, my computer at my second school is the kind where you click on something and then you have to like wait and you have to do this every time you click on something. So instead of being able to quickly make something or quickly open a new tab to search something. Every time I change tabs I have to reload the page and wait and that just like really drags the lesson making process out. So three days a week I would either be spending most of the time trying to work with this computer during the school day, during the work day, and then potentially coming home and continuing that work. So didn't quite have as much spare time as I thought I would. Um, plus I have a commute, so my main school is like 10 minutes down the street from me. I can just ride my bike there and back quickly. This new school is in a different town, so I have to 
leave earlier and I get back a little bit later. Not like terrible, I think I still get home at around like 5-ish, which isn't the worst, but it's just a different, different schedule than what I'm used to. So there was that, that was kind of the main thing, taking a lot of my energy and mental space. And then I just, I don't know, ever since the summer, it's like, I come home, I sit down to like, take a breath, I eat dinner, and it's like 8 o'clock. And I don't know what happens, and I don't know where the time goes, but I just can't really get, seem to get stuff done when I come home. It's like, it takes all my energy to make food, or look up recipes, or, you know, like I haven't been able to really regularly work out, so it's just been a little bit of a meh five months uh, finishing off 2020, um, which is kind of disappointing. Um, I don't want to spend my last year with kind of a, I don't want to say bad attitude, but like, I feel like I know that teaching isn't my passion. I know that I don't love it and like that's okay, but like I don't want to get to a point where I'm just like, I don't want to even do my work. I don't want to you know, teach a class. I don't like feeling like that. I want to let me do this lesson and let me try and do my job well. And then just, it's, for whatever reason, I've just kind of been like, eh, not super into it anymore. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping in the new year we can kind of fix that a little bit. I did finally t figure out a game that works pretty well that I can adapt a little bit easier to use multiple times. So I'm hoping things will go a little better. Um, we're going into the third term, which is usually the shortest and lightest term for us teaching classes, um, especially for third years, because they usually like stop coming to school so they can study for entrance exams. So I have two classes each for third years, and then that's it. And then I'll have some more second year classes, but I'm currently only teaching like two second year classes. So the beginning of my year should be kind of light enough that I'm hoping I can kind of get into a better headspace and a better attitude for doing my lessons so that I can finish off my contract year with a better better attitude and, and just do my best before I leave. So that's kind of the main reason I haven't really been able to continue doing videos or my blog is that I just didn't have the energy for it and I just wasn't in the headspace for it. Um, but now that I've had a little bit of winter break to like relax and do absolutely nothing, um, I'm hoping that I can kind of start fresh. Like I want to I wanna start fresh, let's do this, which is why I'm doing this now because I'm thinking if I start this right away and try and make it into a habit from the beginning, it'll be easier to stick with it and continue doing it. So that is what's been going on. New school kind of threw me for a little bit of a loop, but I'm ready to start, start fresh for 2021. So outside of school, um, in terms of daily life, things have pretty much been the same. School isn't closed. Um, people are still just kind of business as usual here, even though cases are rising and they're popping up closer to home. Um, so I'm guessing my class load will still be light. I'm still trying to mostly stay home. Um, over winter break I haven't gone anywhere. I bought a bunch of groceries so I could just kind of stay home, stay inside, just relax at home. Um, but yeah, due to that it's probably going to continue into spring at least that I'm gonna kind of you know, stick at home, or stick in the smaller radius of my prefecture. Um, but that's good because then that gives me more time to just focus on this. And speaking of this, um, my plans going into the new year for this channel, for my blog and videos, is I do want to try and start making some more regular videos. I want to try and make it a habit, try and get it scheduled and regular so that once I do again get to that point of getting ready to start my master's degree, 
um, I'll have all the kinks work out. You know, I'll, I'll understand how everything works. I'll be able to edit, hopefully, efficiently and quickly. I'll understand how, you know, everything works in a way that I can hit the ground running once I finally make it to Bristol to start my degree. So, with that in mind, what am I going to post about? Um, I want to kind of stick to the animal theme. Um, like, not that anybody's really watching this channel, but um, unless people really want life in Japan vlogs, uh, as if there aren't a million of those, um, I kind of want to stick to just like animal related theme things. So I do have some ideas going into the new year of things I can do, things that I'll be interested in doing, and that I can put up here on the channel without it seeming too left field, I guess, of what, you know, my intent was. Um, so maybe visiting some zoos or aquariums in Japan to talk about that, maybe looking at some animal related topics in Japan, like animal cafes, you know, um, something that I can do from where I'm at without having to travel very far. Um, but of course that is dependent on safety. Um, currently everything is open in Japan, um, so I would, you know, obviously check before I do anything, but that is kind of my plan for now, is to try making some videos on those topics that I think could be interesting to people and something that I'm interested in and can hopefully give me the time to really practice this whole video um, video editing, um, maybe vlogs, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's, that's my intent going into it. I don't really have a set schedule in mind just yet. I want to see how the first few videos go, you know, how much time it takes out of me, especially once school starts again. Obviously I'm on break right now and third term is a lighter term, but once we hit second term, you know, I don't, I don't want to put too big of a goal and like not be able to meet it and then get like, I don't want to say depressed, but like get too uh, overwhelmed by it. So that is the plan for now. Just thought I'd give a quick update. That's what's been going on. Um, I've got two schools now and yeah, I'm going to try and do more videos. I'm going to try my best to get back up on that horse and ride it through 2021. Is that a weird metaphor? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that's just a quick update. Um, looking forward to maybe seeing you in another video that will hopefully be more interesting than just me talking for 20 minutes. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.